morning. It's Tuesday, August 25th. Mr. Quorum and myself are going to go over the rules for playing badminton. It's one of the games we do in PE when we return to in-class teaching. First of all, the equipment that is used is a net, obviously, and then a racket, very lightweight, smaller than a tennis racket, and a birdie. Um, we have a limited supply of these, so please take care of them when we come back. We don't slam the rackets. We try not to hit the birdies in the lights. We try and take care of everything. Mr. Corman is now going to go over some of the rules of badminton. Okay, let's go over the, the boundaries first. You'll see that we have a row of cones going down here and lined up with the edge of this net. So the boundaries are from the net to the net, from the back row of cones to the back row of cones. So when you hit the birdie, it needs to stay within those boundaries. When I serve, I have to serve underhand, and I have to serve behind these cones. And before I serve, I have to say the score. And I, the serving team always says their score first. In this case, we're just getting ready to start, so I would say zero, serving zero. And then I can serve. So let's demonstrate what that looks like. Zero, serving zero. Because I hit it out, Mrs. Sawyer gets one point. In the past, we played the rally scoring, which means only the serving team can score. But that has changed. So now, it's no longer rally scoring. It is, be... rally scoring. it is rally scoring. It is rally scoring, my bad. It is rally scoring. So it is rally scoring. So that, what that means is every time there's a serve, a point will be scored, either by the serving team or the team receiving the serve. So now I can get the serve. Since I scored last time, I say my score, one, zero. All right. Good job. So some rules as we go along. You're not allowed to touch the net with your racket or your body. If a birdie lands on the line, say it lands right here and then bounces out, wherever it hit, Lines are good in badminton, so it's in. You cannot reach over the net. So I can't spike it down here like this. I can't reach over it. Most of the time, you're going to be playing doubles. So in doubles, there's two people on one side. For example, I'll come over here for Mr. Quorum. And we would play against two other people. In doubles, only one hit is allowed per side. So either Mr. Quorum or myself must hit the birdie over the net. I can't hit it up, and then Mr. Corn can't help it. Okay? If the birdie hits the ceiling, so if I hit the if I hit the birdie and it goes up and hits the ceiling, that's a point for the other team. Wanna demonstrate a little bit more? Let's play let's play around. Alright, we'll start over. Zero serving zero. Okay, that brings up a great, a great opportunity to go over the serving rules again. If you mess up your first serve, you do get one free serve, a second chance. Zero serving zero. serving one.
Two serving one. and playing this game when we return to class.